friend actually, he used to listen to music. Okay. And he used to listen a lot to music, any type of music, like rap, whatever. So they, they would have issues going to the shops to do, to do the shopping because the music would come up and unintentionally they would be singing with that music. They would, they, they've memorized half the lyrics. Yeah. So they would tell me like, I don't want to go to the shops. I'd go to the cinema to look to the new movies where they play new music where I've never heard them, so I can't relate to them and I don't really pay attention to them. Bro, if I go to your the shop, friend, whoever he is, is baffled. Baffled, ba <laughs> not baffled. I'm just saying, people... And it's baffling me as well. Music. What's the logic behind that? New music, so like new beats. Like, yeah, they're okay, but what about the lyrics on the song? They, because they don't pay attention Bro, to it. Bro, but he listens to music. I, I no, he, used to, he used to listen to music. So when oh, he stopped, okay, sorry, he stopped listening I, to music. I misunderstood that. No, 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 he sorry. actively listens to music, but doesn't want no, no, to listen to when he goes to the shops. No, no, he stopped listening to music altogether. Yeah, oh, yeah, you misunderstood that. Yeah, yeah, that that's yeah. wrong. That doesn't make sense either. No, no, no you're confusing me now. So <laughs> for a person like him, I mean, going to the gym, for instance. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, yeah? I'm going to be upfront with you guys. When I was young, the music would come up. I wouldn't switch it off. I would just like, let it there, let me. Let, let, I, I don't think this, this comes to you as a, as a negative person, no, no, no. A bad but then, person. I think it's just maturity. As you grow up, exactly. you start to realize. But then now no going to the that. gym. No one can judge I you for that. Now going to the gym, I have to put my headphones on mm. to put Mullah Basim or some Latmiya because I don't want to oh, listen. I don't want to listen to the music that comes up because I can still relate to it as well. And the music would come up and I'd be like, you know, unintentionally, I know this I music. I really like this point you're making. So what do you do? I think in terms of, let's just take a few steps back. Sounds are always associated with something. I know that if someone calls me on a private number and I hear their voice, I know it's Ali Madani. Okay. I know it's Ali Kassar. I know it's Ali. Hassan. No, I'm just going to say Ali, you know, because uh, I said all the second names. Ali Hassan. Hey, I'm just Ali. I go by that one name. And, um, you can't do that. No. What's interesting is that um, we have this, uh, this great ni'mah of hearing and um, if we use it in the wrong manner, you said Rasat al-Hukuq, I think at some point when we were discussing things, and Rasat al-Hukuq talks about haqqul idhn. That's one of the ni'am that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has provided us with. So if we use it in the wrong way, then how are we appreciating the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? But I still want to go back to the scientific aspect. Sounds are always associated with things. And there is scientific research which says that sounds also have um, mental impacts as well as emotional impacts. For example, the sound of birds gives reassurance to the human. Um, and other sounds always uh, also have other impacts. So if we are agreeing that sounds have impacts, men mental impacts and yeah. emotional impacts, yeah. um, we need to now think of um, the type of things that we are listening to when we're listening to a rap song. Mm. If I'm listening to a rap song, what's going to be in the rap song other than one dissing some someone dissing someone else, someone thinking about their past, drugs, some, drugs. now yeah, obviously cool. going to remember the person I listened, this, I listened to this song with, maybe. When we said sound, sure. is, it is connects it connects you with something, right? Something, yeah. Now, at the same time, the song lyrics, the lyrics of the song can be applied to several aspects in my life. Every person I may have a disagreement with, I may remember every time, oh, I should have Why said this. Why did you me when you said that? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was subconscious, did you see that? Just like when the brother said rap, he looked at me for some reason. <laughs> as a, but, but that's kind of true, because I did look listen like to rap back like in the day. Like I'm gonna you look like a rap star. <laughs> <laughs> it's your American accent. No, it's those tats that I showed you earlier. I'm joking, I have no tats. So in terms of the, that's, that's the first thing. The other thing is that, another example, is that if I listen to a particular love song, or a particular song that reminds me of a memory, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the ni'mah of forgetting. And the Islam, Islam asks us to be productive rather than counterproductive. And we should not procrastinate. Is that the correct procrastinate. word? Procrastinate. Procrastinate. I need to see how that's spelled. Um, so then my point is that, my point is that if, if a particular song is causing me distress and is going to make me counterproductive and is going to make me just think about all the bad times in my life. Except why am I going to put that put myself in that position? And does there that, is a religious does that, aspect. Does that mean which that you can... should listen to music that makes you happy? Not just that. 
it's, it's proven scientifically. Like that song, Happy. No, no, but it's proven scientifically <laughs> that if you play music to a child in, a, in, a, in his mother's womb, it makes them feel more relaxed. Or to babies, newborn babies, they relax. play music to so, them. So, yeah. so the would that make it correct? So being relaxed, yeah? yeah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ala bidhikrillah tatma'innu al qulub Perfect. If we are saying we are Muslims, if we're saying this is our constitution and how, and the book that gives us the guidance in our life, and if we are saying we are the followers of Ahlul Bayt and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then we should do what they tell us to do. We should do what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala tells us to do. Can you translate Surat that verse you just said, please? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, Sorry. Allah bi al qulub So um, by the remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, our hearts will be at ease. He said relaxation, right? So what's more relaxing than reciting the words of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? He is speaking to us. Why do we never give him a chance? Why don't we just and open a book and let him speak to us? Power. They have I'm a bit power. lost. Well, we forget I don't know that sometimes. Where this conversation is well, going. Basically, if we just kind of backtrack to where, uh, you know, agree. Just call me you. Ali. Ali. Yeah. I'll be the only Ali, Ali. K. But then that could be me as well because my surname is Kamran. So Ali. K. Anyway, listen, let's stop this right now. Go Music, on. Music, okay? We're talking about that. You said. Was it yourself or was it your friend who doesn't friend listen of mine. to So he doesn't listen to music anymore. So what he does is he doesn't want to listen to music that he used to back in the day. Exactly. So now he goes uh, to a new movie and perhaps the soundtrack or whatever is going to be new music. So exactly. he's not going to be like remembering the lyrics. So that's his idea. I think that's flawed because music, and this is going to connect with your point, has the power to entice you. Music is a powerful tool. It is used primarily, in my opinion, currently in the wrong way. And that's to manipulate, to indoctrinate people, to manipulate them, basically. So what's the right way to use it? Similar to what he said. Something that calms you, soothes you, makes you healthier. Because if, if classical music was played to plants, that there was a study. That's, why, that's not what I said. No, no, that's no, not what, what you were saying. Because I was saying the Quran yeah. is the alternative. I was saying... That's it, yeah? But I will back this up. Sure. I say anything halal, classified, which we may need to go through again <laughs> with the jurisprudence and stuff, um, would, it has benefits, just like music. Bad music yeah, yeah. has disadvantages. Yes, there are genres, right? it messes right? with your soul. There are genres. It messes with your soul and your personality. Like yeah. if you keep listening about uh, rap, uh, about drugs and fornication and, you know, going to prison, getting out of prison. Killing, stuff like that. suicide. Killing, suicide. Yeah. So it's going to affect you. And it does affect you. And we have studies to show it has affected many, many people. Look, I, I used to listen to music, yeah? I was quite, this, this is what I call my period of jihaliyyah when I was obviously, you know, younger. And I didn't know. And it would entice me. It would mesmerize me. I would be lost for the three, three and a half minutes how long that track was, you know? And then I concur with your friend when he goes to a supermarket, he goes to the mall, and then some of these songs come back on, you know, the old ones. Yeah. I do have a problem with that because they trigger memories. And not bad memories, they just, it, it makes me feel good in a way. But that's the power of music. Mm. And I'm, I'm just to give you an example, the other day, um, it was Gangster's Paradise by Coolio. You know, as I walk through the Valley of Shadow of Death and stuff. Now, it's about, you Which know, want to be... Which in the Bible, I'm sure. Yes, but okay. other stuff, obviously, because, you know, obviously they're going to throw in mix and well, pieces. They sang the Bible. So what I do now... Is that what you're saying? He, he had a verse out of the Bible. He had a verse in the... Yeah. yeah. The they sang it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was no, hip-hop I just wanted to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should I play it? I'm just joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, what I would say was basically, how, how do I combat that now? Mm. It's hard. First of all, I've come to terms with it. It's hard. What are you trying to combat? Um, avoiding the bad music. Avoiding the music that I feel affects me in a negative way. Avoiding the music that... Um, the Quran would consider as idol talk. I mean, there's so you just don't listen that. to it. No, no but, I don't but, listen to but, it, but it has an effect. I, I mean, look, it's not that easy. I'm saying it's not easy Ali, to stay away from music. Why is it that you're saying how I feel about it? What about what the Quran is telling me about it? For example, like it's idol talk, isn't it? I mean, that's what uh, I've gathered so far. That Surah Al Mu'minun, Bismillah Rahman. Surah Al Mu'minun. Do it. Ayahs one to three. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون. Um, I'm so bad at translating these. I'm so sorry. Who's bro. good? Are you good, bro? No, no, I want um, you to translate it. Do so, it. Um, I need to know because uh, that's my that's my limitation there. Uh, no, take it step by step. بسم الله الرحمن the, 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 <laughs> <laughs> the mu'minun have succeeded. Okay. Those who are who have khushu' within their 
صلاة خشوع 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 so submission in, the, in their salah okay done um, والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون and those who are um, dissociate themselves from لغو now لغو has different meanings okay one of the things that falls under the category of لغو um, is basically in other words لغو is um, false talk or un- counterproductive things okay let's leave okay. it as that that's the generic okay. meaning one of the things that falls into it is غناء is singing is music um, so it's anything that rem- removes you from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Agree. And, and also you can say gave. things that are counterproductive as well, which mm-hmm. is obviously the same thing. Now you can go and uh, you, you, know, you may ask, oh, but is that true? Well, Imam Sadiq was asked, Salatu Allah salamu alayhi. That's another one that I learned. Imam Sadiq was a teacher. Imam Sadiq, Salatu Allah salamu alayhi, was asked about al-ghina. He was asked about music. And uh, he said, if we were, he just, he just asked the question, and it's up to us to answer it. Yeah. He goes, if we were to categorize haq on one side, and batil on one side, so tr- uh, righteousness on one side, and the opposite to that, falsehood, falsehood on the other side, then where would the music fall into? He just, that, that was his answer. He didn't, he just answered it with a question, so it just springs to mind that, um, on how we want to feel and how, how we should behave, sorry, how we should respond to music. Now, the other thing is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there's a hadith narrated which says, music springs nifaq, hypocrisy, within the heart, just like water springs, uh, springs uh, just like water springs plants within the soil. Mm. So if you want to think of it from that aspect and then connecting it to sound is always associated with something and always saying that a, a particular thing that we listen to is associated with a particular memory and it has a particular effect on our mental state and our emotional state, then we can conclude that, hold on, there is something negative about this, so why should I do it? As a rational human being, I should never contemplate, I should never be counterproductive and think about my past and always learn from my past and move on and strive to my, to my... I've spoken to someone who told me once that when they listen to music, they find it very difficult to get up and pray. SubhanAllah. Oh, wow. and really? Honestly, and then I asked a few ulama about that and a couple Why? more people told me this. Mm. It's SubhanAllah, I don't know what it is. It's, it's something, but it's true. Anything that these kind of things you do that are mm. sinful, mm. they become heavy on the heart. When they yeah. become heavy on the heart, yeah. it's harder for you to get close to Allah. Yeah. And various people have told me, Ali, when we listen to music for long periods of time, when I look back in my life, those are the periods in my life where my salah was rubbish. Wow. See, the way I see it, so from that, I can, I can think totally of something. Agree. Yeah. <laughs> totally agree. Totally agree. I'm can just think remembering of, myself. It just sparked something to mind. So I think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created, rash, uh, is it rational or is it logic, let's say? Aql. Rash, logic. Logic. And he also created emotions, nafs, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like maybe, I'm, I'm just saying, putting it out there, I'm not sure by the way, I've not researched that. But I am sure of something, that aql and nafs, from aql we have logic. Nafs and, is soul. So. And no, soul is something else. Nafs is where desires come from. There's, it's, it's, a big, it's a big topic, but I'm just going to just say this point, I, and I'm not going to go too much into it, sorry. But there's aql, which is logic, and we have nafis, where desires come from. So I feel like we should always have that balance of aql and nafs in order for us to live our life in a good way and to always go back to that soul, which is the third factor, um, which, is, which was created as a pure creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which we need to go back to what at the end of life. What soul is in that case? Ruh. Oh, okay. uh, so then you have aql and nafs, and I feel like music will... Um, is it stimulate or enhance the, the emotional factor within me? Yeah, that makes um, sense. And right. I feel like this will take over my aql and it will stop me from doing what is logical or maybe and that's what uh, does. put brakes on it rather mm. than not stop me, but just put brakes or put a pause or... But or again, divert you from what you should or but, sh- but, should be doing. Yeah, I, I suspect, yeah. I suspect so, yeah. Isn't it the same with watching a movie or playing a game? Will it not distract you This from goes into, uh, into lahu. So it, you, there's difference. There's lahu and there's lahu. 
Oh wow, it's just yeah. uh, Lagos. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 the meaning difference. Well. I'm, sure. Sure. I'm sure. Lagos <laughs> force is like the. That's that, the only the talks thing I thought. Lagos is like more. Of, what yeah. I want to get to basically, yeah, I mean, it's it's a bit of a sensitive topic. The whole music thing. Please. I mean. Oh yeah. No, no, you always do it. No, Why no, doesn't I, Ali do it? He can't no, do it. Mustafa guy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like him. Coming That's coming from coming from a media background. Let's say we're doing a promotion on Facebook or a promotional video on. If you like it, bro. Yeah, please. On yeah. YouTube or any channel, it, you have to put that kind of music that will that will make this video convert into a sale or in, into whatever. So, what do you do in this case? Do you refrain from using music at all in that video, or can you use a soothing music? Can you use something that? This is good. Because you have to kind of do your research. Who good. am I targeting? What kind of music do I have to use here? Yeah, but there are ulama who have some specific genres that are halal. So yes. depending on which merja you follow, yes. you just... Uh, so it'll be the same with movies them. as well. So if you have a the movie base a is we understand, because a lot of people these days, they don't just take the Qur'an's word for it. Mm -hmm. And they, they, do, they have to see it scientifically. Now we've just explored it scientifically. It has some impacts. Um, there are obviously people who say there are positive impacts, like some music help you with your mental state at work and it helps you concentrate when you're studying, etc. Now, subhanAllah, there are, as the Sayyid said, there are ulama who uh, allow you to listen to certain type genres of music. Um, like, any examples? Um, pop? Oh, okay. I think, no, I think... You wish pop. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit no, of my there, there are some people <laughs> allow you to listen to uh, relaxing music. There are people who say music is... It's different. There's different people, who, but the bottom line is, music has an impact and as a yes. as a someone who hopefully has some sort of uh, logic within me i would think you know i don't want to associate myself with anything negative it's interesting because i was listening to a lecture um, a while back and um, the lecture is saying the first person or the first creation to use music was shaitan and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him in the quran i can't remember the exact ayah was tafsiz man istata'ta bisawtik Steph says, try and, try and convince whoever you can with your voice. Okay. So he was putting it together as in with singing, music. And if you look at it as well, most musicians, yeah. I mean, as, as Sayyid Hadi said as well, I mean, you put haq and batal in one, in one, uh, on one side, and then you look at music, where does it fall? You look at musicians, I mean, do you consider them to be on the right path? If you look at all musicians, it's, do you consider yeah. them to be on the haq or on the batil? Basically, they're not really role models though, are they're they? They're not really, but, but unfortunately they are to most people. If you would ask them, who do you, I mean, who's your biggest role model? Who do you follow in terms of fashion, in terms of your That's appearance? They yeah. go, oh, at this musician, mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z. Music has major, major it influence. Has major influence. And everything you guys I are saying. I think it's influenced your hairstyle, to be honest. <laughs> Listen, we'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> Honestly, you know that spiky hairstyle, that's a rock star, What right? is this? Even your beard. No, no, no. Don't no. say Bieber. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. It just looks like a rock star. But this doesn't look all right. Look I nice. told my barber, you know, just... Listen, guys. Um, <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Dude, that is what I can actually see happening today. What you're saying, you're talking about hadiths. You're talking about verses from the Quran. And I can actually see that being um, applied in this day and age. And these musicians, I'm not going to name any. I think it's unfair to make... Uh, sorry? As in the negative impact. Like the negative impacts. Listen to their songs. Listen, listen to the top 10 or top, yeah, 10, ten so songs on the billboard, whatever you have here. I forgot. Um, break them down. Just Google the lyrics. You're going to get boy meets girl, boy wants to be with girl. I'm censoring. And he'll do anything and everything to idolize this girl. There's no God there. There's nothing spiritual there. It's all about chasing the dunya. It's all about chasing your desires, living your desires. Do what Dao Wilt was that whenever person said, yeah, I'm not going to mention any names, but it's about don't control yourself. Don't yeah. control your nafses, which was, which is Enjoy what? yourself. Let enjoy it. yourself. Don't control yourself. Enjoy yourself because that's what the life is all about. Well, obviously, the Quran and Islam teaches us differently to control your nafs and your temptations, etc. And it's really, really... And this is what I use. Now, I'm going to tell you my tactics because I used to listen to music. I'm not afraid to say it. You know? No, there's nothing wrong with it, bro. You've I stopped. We won't prove. I stopped. And then I started again. 
because I was weak and music was powerful and I liked it. And I thought it was just rap and hip hop and R&B and stuff. But to be honest with you, I liked anything, even country, a little bit of Leanne Rhymes. Because, uh, you guys, because it sounded good. And for those three to four minutes, it took me away from whatever I was dealing with, whatever, even God. So it's a drug. It's a drug. How it's do you a, replace it? It intoxicates you. Did you I'll replace go- it with something else or did you just stop it altogether? Yes and no. I mean, I need an alternative because I don't know why, but the body kind of craves sounds. That's, how, that's me then. C- craves sounds or, craves, or music. I thought create sounds. No, no. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's a true fact like, as okay. well. <laughs> Our body makes sounds, but... No, I mean, craves, when craves you're sounds. When you're hungry. Yes. And music, right? Um, so yes, alternative. So one method was... Get the Nasheeds, the Latmias, get the, the Nohas, the Marcias, the Mankabats, anything. Why is this allowed? Because it doesn't, it re- first, the subject matter. Fikr of Ahl al-Bayt alayhi wa The subject matter, that's the key thing, 100%. Brings Nailed it, bro. to Allah. It, exactly, because they're talking about the merits and may, perhaps the struggles that the Ahl al-Bayt went through. And you're, the remembrance that's of it, Ali that's it. And you're taking it in, and your, your soul is taking it in. And then you're going to start reflecting whether you know or you're not. Now, you, now, bad music does the same thing to you. You know, for a split second, I thought he was going to break into like, Ali, Ali, <laughs> <laughs> That would have been perfect. <laughs> you wish. I don't mind. <laughs> so I can, I can see now if something's having an impact. I can feel it. I can, I can test it. And why? Because one, I've gotten older. One, because I've actually started listening to lectures and apply that knowledge. Not just listening it and just walking out of the, uh, the Masjid al Imam Barga and be like, whatever. And I can see that difference. I can feel it. And I was like, oh, I was in such a bad state back in the day. But now if I just, and I did that as well. I was like, this is my, one of my favorite songs. That was my favorite song back then. What was the subject matter? Oh, that's despicable. That's disgusting. And what you said, actually what your friend said to you was, if he listens to music and he cannot pray, mm. I totally concur. I feel it more difficult when I commit a sin. We're all sinful people, obviously. I'm yes. one of the biggest sinners there is. No, um, I find it more difficult. Uh, my salah is late. I've noticed. See, I'm assessing myself, and I think it's about reflection. You need to reflect. And I assess myself sometimes on a daily basis, sometimes on a weekly basis, whenever I you know, get the chance to. And I'm like, my salah was late here. Why? What did I do at that time? Oh, okay. I need to like stay away from that. Easier said than done because we're human. We are full of error and flaws. I think the best thing that we're doing at going. the moment is reflecting. I'm sure Sayyid Hadi has a rewire from Imam Sadiq about reflection. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 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 Listen, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I think the main point that we should take away from this and the one that means the most to me, to be honest, whenever I think about my life is something that Sayyid Hadi alluded to earlier. Um, I was in Najaf once and I spoke to one of the Grand Maraja in Najaf, I won't mention his name, and he told me the thing that differentiates us Shia from everyone else, our madhab is the madhab of i'tidal, which is, uh, how would you say, it? M- moderation. So. We don't go too much, for example, this way. We don't go too much that yes. way. Everything is done in moderation. So what Sayyid Hadi was saying... Not being in the middle. No, <coughs> no, no. two different things. So not being in the middle. Wanna, I just want to highlight yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, please yes. do. Yes. Okay. So okay. That's what so I'm trying to say is not becoming extreme. Not so what people would do is, we for example, become, become anything, extreme uh, in their spirituality. Sometimes that makes them deviate away. That's why what Sayyid Hadi was saying is we're logical and we've got emotions. Now, the main thing for us to remember is this logic is what differentiates us from animals, yes. right? So what happens is, what I've, what I've realized and what I've come to understand from this conversation is, what happens is, people, uh, this might be a bit derogatory the way I'm saying it, but I think you're going to understand what I'm, I, I mean. And sure we uh, They get in some sort of a trance with this music, like people do when they're on cocaine or something like that. Oh, yeah. Because it removes away one of the most important aspects of them, which is the logic, logical aspect or the brain or the way that we think, which if we come back to what the Marja said, where the uh, madhab of moderation, we need this and we need this. We can't just go all the way logic, then we lose our faith. Or we go all the way our faith, but we can't back it up properly in the Western world, for example, because we don't have the logic. Sure. We need to keep that in our minds 24-7. 
that our brain needs to be on and our hearts need to be pure mm -hmm. and they work hand in hand with our soul and if you use all three in the correct way you'll realize that this for example thing that we're talking about music has no place in our lives yeah. 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 and, and that, yeah. that, that's what wanna, makes us us see, I like that Ahsan that's Sayed, you, you hit the nail on the head I want to just put myself in the shoes of someone who's thinking okay so you guys are saying music is not good music is you know this has all these negative aspects some people would just may purely just be like you know what it's just i have fun like i have fun listening to music like for instance and our religion yeah. is you know in other words some people can say oh that's so boring man why why are we always why do we have to always stay away from fun stuff now, Bro, it's about control. You have to control I yourself. Would, see, yeah, but when I think of it, I think our religion is not boring. Our sect is not boring. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Alaykum uh, bis-sibahati wa ramayati wa rukubul khayl. You have to, uh, you know, he advises us to do swimming, um, archery, and methalan, and horse riding. Now, obviously there are other things to this, but we can have fun. We are advised to have fun. Point is, as you said rightly, and you asked Ali, and as you said you did, is to find an alternative. Very, very, very true. We need to find an alternative. We can have fun. We can have fun whilst we are in our conscious mind. Consciousness fact, is always fun something. Way, you, you, so learn. you learn also. Exactly, exactly. Can I ask you a question? Do we not have fun every week when we come and sit here and talk about all sorts of things? It's always fun to see you and to no, see no, no. boys. No, it's it's always, yeah. comes. It is yeah. fun, <laughs> which I don't know when it's going to come, but I hope it comes soon. Oh, but yeah. that's, that's the most important thing is to keep all those things in check and then you move forward in life, inshallah. Moving forward, and yes. That's very God important. bless the waiter if he brings the food quickly. <laughs> um, Imam yeah. Al-Kadham, just one last oh, hadith. Wait, 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 this, this one is Imam. big because he good. just switched Imams. Da, da, da. <laughs> See how I associated a big hadith with... Anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, Imam Al-Kadhim says, مَنْ تَسَاوَى يَوْمَا فَهُوَ مَغْبُونَ Whomever... Uh, who, whomever has a day which is equal to his... His previous day is equal to his current day, then he is maghboon. So he is basically... Um, not in a good position, basically. Not in a good position. Yeah, I don't know how to explain Magbun. it. You have to improve yourself, basically. Right? Fahwa so basically, lacking... what he's encouraging, the content, the meaning is okay. he's, he's encouraging us. He's encouraging us. A loser. He's right with it. <laughs> like, like Trump said it. This is loser. the problem with people who listen to rap. <laughs> Did you hear that? He tries to rhyme these things. So <laughs> to take away boom. from this is that um, we should always look to improve. So whoever's, you know, exposed to this such information that you know you guys have just explained beautifully i think should truly reflect upon it like we are advised by Imam al-sadiq have you realized how sayyid hadi always likes to have the last word every time we're in a sure. conversation he loves to have the last word yeah. he can he can never go let on, it go go go, on, go on, yeah do it have the last word do it do it do it yeah. You're, yeah, paying, so you're paying for dinner this time but go and have the last word <laughs> so we should always strive to be better so whoever's Taking whoever's listened to this information, whoever's you know, all of us, you know, we should always take something away from this and reflect upon it and actually apply it, yeah. rather than just let it. It's it's very nice. Pass. What I've taken away from this now, from this top subject tonight, is that when you do go to the cinema or you go to the mall or wherever you go to, you hear that music. It's a nice test, actually. It's it's a beautiful test to control yourself and go like, no. I'm act. I know this music is playing. I've heard this before, but alhamdulillah, I've changed. It's a challenge. It's a challenge, mm. which makes it more interesting. Yeah, absolutely. You'll force your nefs to refrain away from not listening. Bro, to put it. it down. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's bring it down.